Paul McKenzie, known as Macca. Who else? He's a quadriplegic who's just come back from a drive to Darwin. It was part holiday, but also to see what facilities are like for the disabled in the bush. Who else but our own Paul Marshall went to Echuca in Victoria to meet Macca and found that driving is just the start of what he can do. That's beautiful, isn't it? You'd sit and watch that all day, I reckon. Paul never had a chance. With a last name like Mackenzie, he was always going to be Macca. Every weekend, he comes down to the Murray at Echuca to watch the river and give his dog, Horse, a run. It's not far from the place Macca was hurt. Is it hard coming back here? Yes, very hard. I've only been back here once. Uh, it was a hot day, 42 degrees, and I uh, went to the swimming hole, swung out on a rope, did a somersault to, to dive into the water and uh, unfortunately hit the bottom. I realised I'd broke my neck. I realised while I was lying in the water, I couldn't move my arms or legs. It was 18 years ago, Macca was a quadriplegic. How does he do this? He runs Macca's demolition and has a specially modified excavator. His work team gets him into it. It's hand controls. So it's no different than my wheelchair, really. Well, I'm a quadriplegic. My hands don't work. My shoulders are good and my elbows are good. That's enough for me to, to do what I've got to do. Now I'm in bedroom two. Luke was 15 when he started working for Macca. You'd be sick of him by now, yeah. surely. Yeah, no, he's all right. He has his moments. That's Macca's mum and dad. They've never forgotten what they were told in the hospital in Melbourne. Macca was 30 then. One of the sisters there took me aside and said, under no circumstances do you take him home. Because if you take him home, he'll never do anything for himself. So we had to sort of tough love and said, look, you've got to get back up. You've got your business up there. Get up there and take charge. And that's what happened. Macca, there aren't too many people who could, who could do this. Yeah, I reckon. He has his own van, drives it from his wheelchair. We're locked and loaded. Like the excavator, it has hand controls. He's been married but lives alone now. Rose, his carer, comes in the morning to get him up and into the shower. Cup tea for you. Yeah. He does get himself into bed at night and wanted us to show this. Ready to strip the shoes, shirt, socks and pants off and... It's hard, but Macca wants people who suddenly find themselves in wheelchairs to know what is possible. Like driving to Darwin, he and his mate Pat are just back. Here we are, first day of the trip, sailing out. They made a video to show what wheelchair access is like in the bush. Gallery. What have we got for wheelchair access here? Not quite. Wheelchair access out through Central Australia is probably be quite nice, not real flash. But everyone was willing to help out all the time. Did you ask them about wheelchair access? Yeah, they bring out a ramp, they reckon. If there was a step or a lip or something, they were happy to grab a ramp and, and make access for me straight away. You know, people are good. We're lucky in Australia. He tells that to new patients at the Royal Talbot Rehabilitation hey, Centre hey, in hey, Melbourne. How's it going, boys? Like Peter, Macca is a mentor. Macca's been there, done that, had a go at many things, so... And he says it like it is, which we really appreciate. Yeah. He volunteers to help people like 20-year-old Evan. Six months ago, he was walking down a street in Melbourne. I got shot and the bullet went through my neck and yeah, singed my spinal cord. I got my right arm movement. Um, the left arm is not so good. Yeah, and then I can only feel from here down, so yeah, my legs are out. And I remember sitting out here just like you yeah. and being able to talk to guys just like me yeah. with questions that I couldn't ask anyone else. Back in Echuca, Macca is moving his business to a new shed. His mate Lee is building it. What's going on, mate? <laughs> when Macca broke his neck, Lee helped rebuild his house. He worked every weekend, 
this fair Egan, he'd never take any money off me. Then, six years ago, Lee came off a motorbike. Over the handlebars, bang, yeah. They help each other now. Yep, yeah, every day above ground's a good day, I reckon. It's cold, Macca, aren't you cold? Yeah, that's what I say, I freeze all the time. I can't wear anything on this nerve pain, I get nerve pain. He doesn't pretend any of this is easy or that he wouldn't rather be the footballer he was. I know what it was like when I was lying on my back and I was thinking bad thoughts. I've dead said bad thoughts. But he got through it and wants others to know they will too. You see a bit of a twinkle in the eye and more in their family's eye. I think it's more of a realisation for their families and their loved ones that you know, it's not going to be the end for the young fella or the end for my husband or my wife. That's what life's about, isn't it? And a smile on the dial. There is some benefits. I've got the same shoes. As you can see, mine are quite muddy from the dog. And I've had them for 18 years. And look, they've still got the new tread on them. Ha-ha. <laughs> He's our man. G'day.